Finally, the 4.91 custom firmware has been released for PS3. In this video, I will show you how to install it with a USB stick and the PS3 toolset. This method is only going to work for people who are running a hen that's on 4.90 or lower. I will also show you how to update to 4.91 if you have already installed a custom firmware on a previous firmware. If you were someone who updated to 4.91, then you will need to wait on an updated version of the PS3 toolset as it only supports up to 4.90 at this time. It won't be long until they update it, I'd give it a couple of days. I will be uploading another tutorial for installing the custom firmware on 4.91 once the toolset has been updated. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button for the number one PS3 channel on the platform. No more waffle guys, let's get into this guide. First things first, let's go ahead and disable automatic updates. The reason most people got updated to 4.91 randomly was because they didn't have this turned off. Once you've done that, we can now move on to the internet browser, go ahead and click triangle to bring up tools, and then go ahead and clear your browser, your cache, and your history. Now what I want you to do is press the start button to bring up the URL searcher. From here, go ahead and type in PS3 toolset, and make sure you put the .com at the end. After doing this, you should be brought to this same page where your PS3's information will begin loading. Allow it to do its thing before clicking on anything at this time. Once it's done, you should see the system manager box can now be clicked. Go ahead and click on that and then click on the flash memory box and go then go ahead and save your flash memory to your USB. This is essential in the event something goes wrong. Once you've saved the dump file, we can move over to the PC. On the PC, go ahead and download the PS3 dump checker. I will provide a link in the description. Once you've got it downloaded, you see a file named drag and drop here. Simply drag your dump file from your USB stick directly on top of it to start running the program. This will check to see if your PS3 is running fine and has no issues that might cause a problem. Once you've got the all clear, make a copy of it on your desktop and you're all good. Now we can go ahead and download the 4.9 One Custom Firmware itself. Go to the link in the description to find it. Once downloaded, you will need to add the PS3 file to your USB stick, and then we can head back to the console. Be sure to plug your USB in before continuing. Now we will need to click on the Flash Memory Patch option. From here then click on Load Patch via HTTP. The download will take about a minute or so. If your console freezes at this point, simply restart it and try again. Now once it's downloaded, click on Flash Memory Patch again, and then click Apply Loaded Patch. This is the point of no return guys, as it says, it can brick your console if it's not compatible. So be sure to double check that. Once you're ready, click OK, and begin patching your update. Once it's complete, we can now shut down the console and restart it. After starting back up, go over to System Update and then click on Update via Storage Media. Your 4.91 jailbreak download will now begin. After about 10 minutes, the download will be done and your console will restart itself. After that, you'll notice you now have the 4.91 up-to-date Evil NAT custom firmware, ready to sign in and use as you please. If you already had a CFW installed, all you need to do is download the update to your USB stick and then update it via storage media or via safe mode if you have issues. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this short guide. I will release the full guide once the toolset has been updated for all those who are currently stuck on 4.91 official firmware. Cheers guys, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and peace.